Welcome to The Shooting Show, brought to you from the Game Fair at Ragley Hall. This week, we follow Chris Dalton on a July Roebuck hunt with man's best friend, Oscar, plus we bring you all the latest news from the Game Fair and the shooting world. It's early morning in southwest Scotland and Chris Dalton is already in action. All the signs are pointing to a good stalk as the row are clearly active. A new plantation is being hit hard by row and Chris is the man to sort it out. Great damage on the trees here, particularly this one. The activity of a dominant row book. Chris stops regularly to make use of his favoured Swarovski binos. Ever watchful, he keenly awaits his opportunity. We spy something within minutes of our departure. It's a privilege to be out in this scenic part of Scotland, but taking in the sights isn't going to make the farmer happy. We need to get that book. As we get closer, we can still see the DA is holding its position. They disturb a doe on the ground. With the doe on her way, things soon start to happen. There's no sense in giving up now, and Chris knows just what to do. This looks like a perfect cold book, but a shot just isn't on. As it takes a step forwards, Chris gets the opportunity he needs. It appears the book runs on. This will be a job for the legendary man and dog team. Oscar is set for another star turn in this stalk. This is where a trained hound can come into its own. Finally we're in luck. We've reviewed the video footage and the shot looked good. The book is down where it stood. Chris is eager to head in and inspect the carcass. Good lad. The flighty book turns out to be a small six pointer. Pretty little row. Beautiful animal. Just a little six point book. Full summer coat. Straight through the neck so he never felt a thing. I actually thought I'd pulled the shot on that to be honest because there was a second deer ran off immediately after the shot and as I got the rifle back it under control after the shot I just saw the movements. I wasn't convinced about the shot and I thought I'd pulled it but we got a lovely roebuck in summer coat so nice morning. Okay well the uh, reward for Oscar as normal is and he's waiting patiently is the kidneys, so it's at the top end of the growlick. Have a quick look at them anyway. Nice set of kidneys, fat round. So there we go. Reward for finding me this morning's robot in the long grass. Nothing like just kidneys for breakfast. Chris soon has the deer in the apex predator rosa, ready to transport back to the larder.
Chris needing a little bit of uh, canine assistance there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. Interest has been good, uh, especially the show here. This is uh, the second show we've been post uh, launch on 1st of June. Um, we were at uh, Game Fair in Scotland, uh, which went down particularly well. You'd be surprised what interest in it. Um, obviously, the main features that I would say that the people seem to be interested in is the fact that you can actually take the ballistic turret from the scope. Uh, use it for windage control or the fact that somebody can actually buy the scope without the ballistic turret and then buy it as an add-on at a later date. Another model as well in the range of four that we um, have launched is the driven scope which is the 1 to 8 by 24 and also the 1.7 to 13.3 by 42. These both have a switchable reticle. You can buy that with the standard reticle but you can also buy it with a naming it a flexible reticle which you can have the choice of two reticles one for driven hunt or one for night uh, your hill stop this model here is the new xq50 uh, there's also an xq19 and an xq38 available as with previous models um, so these are replacing the xd series um, Main differences in the new XQ series, so we've got an upgraded sensor, so we're now using a 384, 288, 17 micron sensor rather than a 25 micron in the previous models. Um, what that means effectively is that the detection ranges have gone up, um, image quality is better and the magnification is also increased. So on your 50 now, you have 4.1 times magnification with a two and a four times digital zoom. You'll probably pick out a moving fox at maybe 700 meters um, and then shorter range and that to clearly ID it based on movement, body shape, etc. Significantly further than anyone's gonna pull a trigger at. We've got a Seek Reveal XR fast frame here. Um, new thermal imaging device into the UK market. Fairly breakthrough price point. So this is retailing in shops at 41995. Um, small, compact, lightweight as you can see, slips in a pocket, um, designed to be used rather than like a monocular, it's handheld, orientated sort of this, in this manner. Um, button on off, we've got seven colour palettes controlled by the button on the left hand side here and you've also got an image capture um, facility. There's an SD card on the underside, so you've got two gig of memory for taking images. Um, but also you've got a 300 lumen flashlight inbuilt as well. Moving from scopes to rifles, Coxwell and Harrison had something new to tempt the punters. We uh, exhibited at the CLA last year, and uh, yes, of course, so this is uh, our, our second game fair uh, over here, yes. Well, we've actually brought out uh, a new uh, rimfire rifle. Uh, this is the uh, Cogswell and Harrison Certus. Um, it's made in the uh, Czech Republic. Um, it's uh, available in a 2.2LR and 1.7 HMR caliber. Uh, nice uh, walnut stock with a uh, checkering. Uh, Cogswell and Harrison logo. American style barrel uh, in 20 inch and a uh, treaded uh, Parker Hill um, half inch UNF for a uh, sound moderator. Uh, also comes with a nice uh, rubber recoil pad and a nice discreet uh, motif of the uh, Cogswell and Harrison man. But uh, yes, we've, uh, this is uh, our first time uh, showing this uh, over here is, uh, at this game fair and uh, we've had a very, very positive response to it. And uh, we also uh, we actually launched this gun on the global market at the SHOT Show in January of this year. And uh, yeah, we've had uh, a good, good, good feedback on it. Fairgoers were making a big noise, literally about the new Flextone Fox Callers. We've got uh, two brand new Fox Callers, uh, both from Flextone, which is an American company. Uh, this is the FLX 100, and this one here is the FLX 500. Um, the big difference here is that the FLX 500 will 
hold up to 500 calls. Um, you can program them all yourself uh, and it has three speakers, all three of which are completely directional uh, and also comes with a remote which will work up to 150 yards away. Um, full colour screen, you can change all the colours for day and night, everything else with that. Uh, incredibly loud if you need it to be and just generally a really versatile fox call. So this is the FLX100, holds 100 calls and uh, you can't add your own onto this one, which is a big difference. But that will be the cottontail rabbit there. And if clay shooting's your thing, you'll want to know about the latest from Promatic. Well, it's really for family use at home. I mean, we've got a huge range of the, you know, the proper commercial simulated game trailers, which are, you know, the high-end, top performance you can get on the market. Uh, we just thought we'd have something that's more for fun at home with either, you know, sort of father-son usage or a small group as well. So, you know, you've got 73 metre throwing distance, uh, so not as far as the commercial stuff. We've got middies as well as standard combination and traps oscillating left to right. So instead of one trap just sitting there for use at home, you know, you've got a lot of variety. You've got a 40 bird flush sequence of 20 bears built into the handset as well. So, you know, it's just a lot of fun for a home, really. Uh, 2195 plus the VAT. Obviously, we've got offers on at the show. The sniper's coming in at 4.5 plus VAT. So, it, it is really for that gap, non commercial, you know, a bit lighter for, for just, just fun at home with the, with the guys and with the family. Magic Law, two, two part cleaning kit. Um, First of all is a hand kit, which is this, comes in its own tube, it's got a, uh, an end cap, an ergonomic handle, solid aluminium, it's been anodised, um, it's all comfortable to hold, got a plastic bush on the end to avoid damaging your gun, and it's got two material cupboard rods, and a custom designed um, brush. Take your barrel, pull out your cleaning kit, you only ever hold the tube, and you only ever hold the handle. Nothing dirty gets held at all. Grab a cleaning patch and place over one of the barrels. Use the plastic end on the, on the uh, brush and push that into the middle of the, uh, the barrel. And all I do is I push that out over a bin. Grab that back, just pull that back, that'll fall out and then just move it up and down a few times. This is the only drill kit on the market today. It's got a hexagon bar. It's got a plastic bush and it, again it's held in a tube. It's got one rod and a very heavy duty brush. That's specifically designed for a drill. It's got a plastic tip on the end again so no metal parts can come in contact with the gun. Again that's all housed in a tube to keep everything clean, keep you clean. Put that in a drill, tighten it up slowly, withdraw the tube. Pick up your gun, it's only short, it's designed to work with a plastic fowl in it. Also keeps it manageable with a working rotating tool. Just push that into the end, start it. Drill must be in forward and it must also be in the slowest setting. Shouldn't be much more than 100 RPM. Start the drill, that'll go down the chamber, you'll feel the heat in your hand and just work that backwards and forwards once, backwards once and that'll get most of it out. And finally, we got the lowdown on a brand new shooting discipline that could be everywhere very soon. Well, 30 years ago, I used to run lots of local shoots in Sussex, charity shoots and all sorts of club events. And I put together something that I called the Diamond Masters because at that time, I ran a gun shop called Diamond Guns. The Diamond Masters consisted of using uh, around seven trappers um, with clays being called by um, the, the shooter from one position and the shooter shot 25 from these various traps going in all directions. It was a great fun shoot, everybody loved to shoot it, but it was quite difficult to lay on and it sort of petered out at that time. I thought well this might just be possible from the modern trailers and modern traps that are, are available. So I've cobbled it together with a, a team and we're building this and putting it onto the market and it really is a fantastic little discipline to shoot. The inquiries have been from all over the place. Um, syndicates wanting to use it just for a practice and to buy one to use for pheasant shooting practice. Clay grounds wanting to use it as a, an add-on, if you like, to perhaps a, uh, a, a serious clay shoot that they're organising. Um, having something uh, running alongside it that is very interesting and very competitive. 
and then just people that want to use it as a training uh, a trailer, if you like, to show different targets to anybody that's starting off in, the, in, in clay shooting. That's it from Ragley Hall. We'll see you next year for the Game Fair 2017. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.